In this video, we're going to take a look at how to adjust the intonation on your Floyd Rose bridge. The intonation will ensure that your guitar is actually in tune for every single fret on every single string. You'll need to adjust the intonation to ensure that every single fret on every single string is tuned to the correct pitch. Uh, just because I tune the guitar here uh, using the tuning machines and then I do the fine tuners on my Floyd, that is only going to make the open string in tune. The problem is that I might play this note even though the open string is in tune and it might not be exactly what this pitch at this fret is supposed to be, which I'm at the 12th fret on the first string, so that should be an E note. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to fix that and make sure that not only will your open string be in tune, but every single fret on your guitar will be in tune as well. So on your Floyd Rose, what you have here to adjust the intonation is you're going to, of course, need an Allen wrench. It's a smaller Allen wrench than the size that you need to uh, to unlock the nuts so that you can tune it. You need a little bit of a smaller one, which should be called two, if you have sizes associated with your Allen wrenches. Otherwise, of course, you just try them until you find the correct size. So basically, this one here, if you can see these ones, those are what I'm going to be tightening and loosening to adjust this part. This has to either slide forward or it has to slide back. So let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to untune this a little bit so that I, uh, you can see here. When I take my Allen wrench and then I loosen this, This moves back and forth. You see that? It moves back and forth so that you can adjust your intonation properly. So your goal is to figure out where this needs to be and where I need to lock it down at. So there you have it. Okay. What I'm going to need is a tuner. Uh, I have a tuner off to the side here and I'm going to tune it to about the correct pitch that it should be, which is an E in this case, because I'm strumming the highest string. So let me dial that in a little bit better. There's an E, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is, if you can see this here, my 12th fret, harmonic. I'm just gonna to touch the string, not press down on the 12th fret, just touch the string. I want to tune that harmonic. I want to make it an E note. So it's a little high. Keep in mind that I'm not tuning the open string like I would if I were just tuning the guitar normally. I'm, I want the 12th fret harmonic to be an E note. That is about correct. Okay, as close as we're gonna get it. So what I have to do to adjust the intonation is I have to make this 12th fret harmonic match the pitch of the fretted 12th fret note. So that one should match that one. Make sure that you do not slightly happen to bend the string a little bit as some people do when they try to adjust the intonation. That's obviously not going to give you the right outcome. You wanna make sure that the you press down completely and totally straight down in order to do this. My fretted note is very, very slightly too high, okay? 
since it's too high, what I'm going to do is I have to lengthen the string. I'm going to take my Allen wrench, and the first thing that I do, because there's so much tension on the string, I have to loosen it so that it's very loose. Okay. If it's not loose, you're not going to be able to adjust this part. You're not going to be able to pull it back because there's too much tension on it. So I'm going to loosen the nut. I'm going to try to hold it in the place where it is. Actually, let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> hold the spot here. Okay. I'm going to take it. I don't know how far to slide it back. But again, I have to lengthen the string very slightly. So I guess that it's about there. And what I'm going to have to do is check it. Okay. And if uh, it's wrong, I keep doing this process until it's correct. So let me get back to that E note, and then I just do this whole thing again. I get the 12th fret harmonic, and I tune it. It is about correct. 12th fret note. We are much closer. We just dial this pitch in here a little bit better. That's about as close as I'm going to get it which is good. Uh, that one was an easy example because I happened to coincidentally put it at the right spot where it needs to be. If I did not put it at the right spot, again, I would have to keep doing this process, go a little bit back, a little bit the other way, and keep going until I happen to find the right spot. Okay, so then it's gonna be the same process for the B string. When we go on to that, we get the 12th fret harmonic. And that is perfect right there. And then we get the 12th, uh, the fretted note at the 12th fret. That one is too high. So since it's too high, I have to take this, move it back that way, right? I have to lengthen the string. So I make the string really nice and loose. Get my Allen wrench. I'm gonna hold this here. And tighten that just a little bit. And then I'm gonna pull it back. Maybe like right there. And then I'm gonna go tighten it back down at the new spot and uh, remember this is a guessing game so we just guess where it's supposed to be and hope that it's correct and if it's not I have to keep doing this until it's right so I play the 12th fret harmonic again And the fretted note. This is about correct right there. Probably, it might still be a little high, but I don't think it's high enough. Of course, you have to determine for yourself using your ear how close is close enough for you or by using your tuner and looking at that. I think that this is fine. There you go. You do all of the other strings exactly the same way, 
Well, let's just use the process of tuning the 12th fret harmonic, then playing the fretted note. You have to match those up. You untune the string and then slide it either back or forward. If the fretted note is too high, you have to lengthen the string. If the fretted note is too low, you have to shorten the string. So what you can see here is that uh, I've run into a little bit of a problem with my A string. Um, the saddle has moved so far back, uh, but it actually wants to go back further this way. So what you'll notice here, um, I get my Allen wrench, is that there's actually two screw holes down here. You can, if you need to move it even further back or forward, you can actually just take the screw out and then put it in the hole further back or forward, depending on which way you need to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it down there in the one further back in my case, and I'm just gonna screw it back down. And then I'll try one of these here. Tune that up. So I've run into another problem. This is good for the example. Um, I have not tightened this screw enough and it actually kept moving back because the tension of the string, uh, the screw was not tight enough to hold that. So what I have to do is loosen the string and then loosen the screw and try it again and make sure that it's tight enough this time. So there you have it. You have adjusted the intonation on your Floyd Rose guitar. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm sure that your guitar will be much more enjoyable to play. Leave your uh, questions in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like and share.